example to how to create your student portfolio site in Google Sites. So if you go to any of the Google websites and look for the waffle, click on that waffle and go down to the sites option. So we see here you've got the templates along the top and then all your created sites down the bottom. So we want to start off with a template and we're going to choose the student portfolio template. So this has already created a basic structure that we now need to add. And one of the first things we should do is add our name. And then also to the title of the file. You can see here that you've got some tabs for options. You can insert, you can choose a different theme, uh, or you can add and delete pages. And this is the first thing that we'll need to update. So we need to change some of the names of the existing pages and add others. So if we look under the classes, we've already got some subjects. So we know this to be uh, essentials. So we're going to go to the three dots in the properties and instead of call classes we are going to call this essentials. Now maths is maths. It's already done. We've already got that one. Art we don't have so we are going to uh, change the name of that page to comms and then we'll also need to change the title. And of course we've got uh, two other Essentials classes, so I'm going to click the three dots and duplicate that page. And I'm going to call that Science. And again, update the title. And then again, duplicate one more time and call this healthy citizens. So there are the four pages for the essentials. Now on the current activities page, um, this is where we're going to put any evidence of our extensions. So again, we're going to change the name of this page. Instead of activities, it's called extensions. And change the title. All right, now we need to add some more pages. So we can click this plus button here. And we want a new page. So we need one called explorations. And because I've created that page new, it's already got the title. Now under the exploration pages, I'm going to add some sub pages and these are going to be the names of the explorations that I've been in. So maybe I was in the transport exploration and that's where I'm going to put uh, my evidence of learning from, from that exploration and then I'm going to add another sub page and maybe I was in the digital heritage exploration in turn two. So you'll have a separate page for each of your explorations. Uh, the other page uh, that you need is an impact page. And we're going to get onto that later in the term. And finally, the last one, expertise. And that's anything that's done in uh, opportunity block or expertise. So there we've got the setup for us to add all the evidence of our learning over the year. And we can easily customize this. So obviously one way uh, what we might want to do is in terms of uh, the title. So we could take what we're already given and uh, just put in our own name. And obviously we can customize all the images. So to do that, you select image. And I've got some images all ready to upload. And I can edit the text in here about me, but I can also put in some images 
of my achievements. So if I want to replace uh, that image, so replace image, and again I'm going to upload. And then if it's a blank one here, I can just click on the image button. And again, I can upload another image. Now, if I wanted to put in some stuff for my extensions, again, maybe I didn't do robotics. and I can change the description. And if I go to my expertise page, I can go to the insert tab and I've got all these different ways that I can insert things. So image and text, something from my drive, and then a whole range of other things that I can insert, including YouTube videos and maps and docs and slides. Uh, well, I am just going to set up this two image setup and I'm going to add an image of one of my expertises. And finally, when you have finished all your website maybe you've added a few images, you can then publish it, give it a name and then click publish. And the final step is to share the link. Now this is the link for the published website. So you copy that link and that's the link that you turn into Headrush.